Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to give a book some buzz that it deserves. I hadn't heard a lot about it before I read it and I think that it deserves all the buzz in the world. This is The Circus of Stolen Dreams by Lorelai Saverin and I think you should read this. <laughs> Alright, so we have Andrea. She's 12 years old. Three years ago, her parents separated and shortly thereafter, her little brother Francis disappeared without a trace. For three years, nobody's heard of him. All they know is that one night he went to sleep in his bed and the next morning he was gone. Andrea deals with a lot of grief because of or a lot of guilt because of this because she shared a room with her brother and feels like she should have heard him leave. So on the night, three years later, that her parents ask her to go through some boxes of her brother's things to pick out some things she would like to remember him, she's not ready for it. So she goes for a walk into the forest and comes across a, a flyer that looks like this. And it says, Reverie, Land of Dreams. Come and join us. Come away. Forget your troubles. Come and play. And forgetting your troubles sounds really good to her. So she goes looking for Reverie, the circus. What she finds is a circus where the price of admission is a dream or a memory. So she gives away a memory in order to experience the circus. What the circus does when the children give up their dreams and memories is turns them into attractions. So some children will give a dream so that they can relive it over and over and over again. And some children will give up a memory because they never, ever, ever want to think of it again. Or they'll give up a dream because they never want to have it again because it's a nightmare. So Andrea decides to give the memory of the night her brother left or the night her brother disappeared and craziness ensues. She goes through the circus and goes through the dreams of the other children that have been there. In one, the person dreamt that they were able to fly. So she experienced being able to fly until she got out of that dream um, going into nightmares was very exciting because you knew that at the end you were going to be out of the nightmare and it didn't matter. So it was this thrill ride like a roller coaster. And she starts to realize as she's enjoying her night that there's something wrong and it might just hold the key to what happened to her brother three years ago. I loved this book. It was so creepy. It was so heartwarming and tender and wonderful. And I don't know how I can say those two things, creepy and heartwarming, in the same description of the same book, but I absolutely can. It was so good. And I loved the characters. I loved Andrea. I loved how she dealt with the grief that was happening and how she reflected on what she was what what was happening to her and how she dealt with everything. I loved the children that she met and I even loved the not so nice people that she met because they made for wonderful drama in the story. There's so many times while I was reading where I wasn't sure if I could trust the characters that Andrea was meeting. There were so many times when I didn't know what was going to happen next and so many times that I thought I knew what was going to happen next and sometimes I was right, but sometimes I was wrong. This book surprised me. This book made me cry. This book made me smile and laugh. And I hugged it at the end because it was so wonderful. If you have not read or heard of The Circus of Stolen Dreams, you should get your hands on it. It is fabulous. Have you heard of The Circus of Stolen Dreams? I would love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below. I would love to chat with you about The Circus of Stolen Dreams, or if you have any books that sound similar to this, 
I would love to find some more. Thanks for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy reading. Bye.